ओके सो विल स्टार्ट विद एस आर लैच विद नाइन गेट्स ओके सो एनालिस इज सेम ओके सपोज यू सी एस वन बोथ आर जीरो वन हेयर ऑल्सो जीरो हेयर ऑल्सो जीरो सो वट इज अवर आउटपुट बोथ आर वन राइट सो दिस इज डिस अलॉड मीन्स यू डो नॉट वॉन्ट दिस सिचुएशन राइट यू वॉन्ट क्यू इफ क्यू इज वन अदर शुड बी जीरो राइट सो हेयर इज वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग बोथ थिंग एज जीरो जीरो हेयर इट इज कमिंग एज वन वन सो इट इज इनवर्स ऑफ वॉट इज देयर इन नॉर ओके एंड अदर इज एनालिस इज यार यू सी वेन एस इज जीरो वॉट आउटपुट यू विल गेट वन राइट सो इट विल कम हेयर वन एंड अवर आउटपुट इज जीरो लाइक दिस यू विल गेट फाइन सो एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड आर इक्वल टू जीरो जनरेट्स अनप्रिडिक्टेबल रिजल्ट नाउ कमिंग टू एस आर लैच विद कंट्रोल इनपुट्स नाउ यू सी हेयर हेयर एस इनपुट इज देयर टू वन नैंड गेट हेयर आर इनपुट इज देयर टू वन नैंड गेट एंड दिस इज वन कंट्रोल इनपुट ओके यू टेक दिस इनपुट एज क्लॉक ओके सो वी आर एडिंग टू एस आर लैच वन कंट्रोल इनपुट सो दिस इज द कंट्रोल इनपुट ओके क्लॉक ओके so you can say this thing as gated sr latch now the basic sr latch changes its state whenever its input changes okay so whenever there is change in input in s clock or r you will get your output it may be desirable to add an enable signal to the basic sr latch that allows to control when the circuit can change the state so this is the control signal we are adding in order to take the control on sr latch okay such a circuit is referred to as a gated sr latch and the control input act just like an enable signal so this controls input is you can say it's an enable signal okay okay gated sr latch means you are adding some more gates okay in front of this latch this is latch right cross coupled is a latch but you are adding uh, uh, to sr input some gates okay in order to take more controllability on latch fine that they are talking uh, is it necessary to uh, when we are adding any control signal we have additionally add some more state uh, gates yeah yeah can't we provide control signal directly to the, that sr latch no 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 because uh, suppose you are dealing with only two input nand gates okay so only two inputs you can uh, drive right one is cross coupled and other is s okay now you want to take a control on s and r okay for that you have to add some extra circuitry right okay. so that they are adding fine okay now coming to d latch okay uh, this latch is useful when you need to need a device to store a bit of data so d flip flop or d latch will only store one bit of data okay the d stand for data or delay fine the term data refers to the fact that latch stores data okay now the term delay refer to fact that output q is equal to the input d one time period later suppose you are applying uh, uh, suppose uh, before this before uh, before this d flip flop one circuit is there and here also one circuit is there okay now one signal is going from this circuit to that circuit okay so uh, now you want to delay that signal by one clock cycle okay so during that time you can add one d flip flop okay see uh, this is a d flip flop okay assume that this this thing is not present here one circuit is present at this point and one circuit is present at this point two circuits now your signal is coming one control signal is going from one uh, 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 if you want to delay the this signal coming from this uh, circuit to that circuit by one clock cycle what do you do you insert a d flip flop there in between so you can delay right every flip flop for latch used to delay the circuit no 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 d flip flop is used to store the uh, value okay okay but some in some situation suppose you are uh, you are accessing a memory hmm. okay suppose uh, now you are giving address okay uh, when you are giving address at the same time you will not get data okay your memory will take one cycle to uh, read that address and that next cycle only it will give you data okay at the so address and data so data should be delayed by one cycle okay in that case you can use d flip flop you can delay that uh, data uh, by one cycle it's okay. only in the case of d flip flop that our data is delayed by one cycle yeah Or usually every flip flop used to delay it by one cycle no d flip flop uh, most uh, we are only using d flip flop in industries okay 
you you will not find anything in like jk flip flops all those things okay anyhow jk flip flop will also take one cycle to propagate your output okay but usually will go with d flip flops only okay. uh, because we can say that every flip flop delay its output by one clock cycle ah but uh, there is a difference in d flip flop only one input is there okay which you want to delay but in jk flip flop two inputs are there so what input next you will second you will take so that also matters okay you got so in that way we can say so the term data refers to the fact that okay now the term delay refers to the fact that output q is equal to the input d one time period later so that is q is equal to d delayed by one time period okay so i have shown you only one scenario where you can delay the signal okay so when you are coding you will face this difficulty you may face this difficulty so during that time you can delay your signals by adding a flop okay now the gate d latch is also called as transparent latch okay so another name of uh, d latch is transparent latch okay you see so you see this table when clock is 1 okay your output uh, what is your input d output is 0 whatever is your input that you will get at the output okay this is what d latch is so you can also call this thing as a transparent latch okay now coming to flip flops now characteristic equations so characteristic equation where the next state q t plus 1 so if you want to represent next state you can represent q t plus 1 okay is defined in term of current state current state is q t next state is q t plus 1 okay and inputs and inputs okay got next state will depend upon current state and inputs fine so uh, you can uh, for q t plus 1 you can also write q plus see they have written q plus equal to c uh, here q plus q plus equal to s plus r dash q so this is the characteristic equation for sr latch so application so the application of uh, this uh, sr latch is in debounce elimination debounce elimination uh, this circuit uh, usually come okay i asked you one question right suppose one control signal is there and you want to propagate that thing from uh, one clock uh, domain to another clock domain okay so one solution is debounce elimination you can use debounce circuits to uh, eliminate that thing okay but i will not explain that thing uh, b- uh, tomorrow you come uh, with solution then we'll discuss those things okay so one answer uh, already is there debounce